Welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. I'll be taking you on how to cut and how to seal this lovely tube dress. I'll be using two and a half yards of fabric and um, less than a half yard of lace material to accompany it. I'll also be needing the ready-made brush tube to make my dress. And the measurements are going to be needing are the under bust, half length, the full length, round shoulder measurements, the bust, under bust circumference, the waist, and the hip measurements. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. And don't forget, we upload the cutting and the sewing of our tutorial. So if you're watching this, there's need for you to watch the sewing tutorial. And if you're watching the sewing, there's need for you to watch the cutting. And don't forget to leave your comments in the comment box below. So let's move on. Okay, I'm starting with the half length and the length is 15 inches. So here, since it's a tube dress, I have minus six inches, minus six inches. So the length is 15 plus one inch, I have 16 inches. Now we have a normal arm hole length is 8.5 inches. So since this is a tube dress, I reduce this by one inch. So I have 7.5 inches. The other bust measurement is 12 plus my half inch seam allowance. I have 12.5 and this is the 16 inches. To fold our fabric, I'm folding with a bust measurement. Bust plus eight divided by four inches. The same as the bust measurement divided by four plus two. And I added extra two trees. So the bust measurement 34 plus 8 divided by 4 is 10.5. I added extra 2 inches. So I have 12.5 inches. I folded my 12.5 inches. The extra 2 inches I added, I need to hide it first. I'm going to hide the extra 2 inches first. So I'll continue my measurement from here. The shoulder measurement is seven is 14 inches divided by two is seven, seven inches. So minus 1.5 inch, minus 1.5 inches. Then I have the bust measurement. The bust plus eight divided by four is 10.5 inches. The bust measurement is still on the 8.5 inches. This is 8.5 inches. So this is the bust measurement. The under bust circumference measurement taken below the under bust length. That's the 12.5 inches. So I have the under bust circumference measurement 28 plus 8 divided by 4 as well. So I need to connect this. And now the shoulder from the shoulder spread down. Okay, so let's cut this. For the back, I'm going to place this and add my zipper allowance of two inches so what i'll just do is i'll unfold the two inches and place this to cut the back all right so i'll just cut it out and i'll divide the the back to two so 
you can decide to still bring down the neck design you can leave it the way it is the depth depending on the depth of your choice but i'll be using 7.5 inches for the depth so for my shoulder measurement i'll bring it down then I'll cut so in case you want a straight neck you can just leave it the way it is this is the back remember we had a zipper allowance of 2 inches and the dart measurement of 3.5 inches that's 5.5 inches and I'll just notch back to the friends so back to the friends the nipple to nipple measurement is 6.5 inches that's approximately like 3.5 inches that's if i fold into two and i'll add extra one inch so i'm folding four points i'm folding 4.25 inches All right, so I'm taking 3.5 inches from the folded point. Measure 3.5 inches. Remember, this is our under bust. So the 3.5 inches still comes all the way to the under bust measurement. That's a 3.5 inches. And from the under bust, so the nipple point, the, from the under bust to the nipple point is 3 inches. This is the nipple point. And on the neck, I'm taking 3 inches. 3 inches. So I'm bringing the 3 inches to the nipple point from the nipple point to the 3.5 inches. You can use your curve and you can just sketch it out. Alright, so the same thing, in case you want a straight neck, you can just leave it the way it is. And if you still want to bring it down, you can do that as well. I'm using 7 inches. 7 inches for the depth. And it's going to be a sweetheart neck, so I'll just bring it out. Alright. So, this is for the front. Now, I'm going to use this, all those patterns. I'm going to place it on my lace fabric to cut out the lace. So all you just need to do is place your material to cut out the lace and that's all. So we move to the base of our dress. Okay, now for the base of our dress, we subtracted 15 inches, which is the half length. And the total length is 57 inches plus 2 inches, that's 59 inches. Then the waist measurement plus 6 this time around, plus 6 divided by 4. I have 8.5 inches. The distance between the waist and the hip, 6 inches, 6.5 or 7, depending on the height. 
you take that down, then you have the hip measurements plus 8 divided by plus 6, sorry, plus 6 divided by 4, that's 10.5 inches. I still have my 10.5 inches, then I subtracted 1 inch, 1 inch to pencil it down, then straight down to the base of our skirt, of our dress. So this is still the front. I'll place this to cut the back. And the, on the back, I'll have my zipper allowance before cutting. So I'll, I'll just place this. To cut the back with my zipper allowance so all you just need to do is place the front to get the back and hide the zipper allowance now to the front because I'm still going to slit the front and the slit is going to be on the left hand side so by the time I open this, the slit is going to be on the left hand side. So to achieve that, what I'm going to do now from the middle, I'll measure four inches. Measure four inches. And the length of the slit. The length of the slit is 22 inches. 22 inches this is my 22 inches so i'll slit it i'll slit the four inches just on the left hand side i'll slit it to the point to this point I'm using a crepe material, so that's why I have a bit of um, challenge folding the material. Good, so. So I guess we are done with the base left with the cape all right so now let's move to the cape all right so for the cape this is um the length of i measured the length of 15 inches so which is more than my round shoulder measurements because i'm going to drop the rest behind me so this is the length of 15 inches and folded into two i measured six inches so that's for the cape uh, for the cape then the flat um design at the front i'm just going to cut out a full flay I fold my fabric into four to cut out a full flay with a length of five inches so in case you don't know how to cut out different types of flare you can watch my video on that we have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flare so i'll just be i'll fold a full flare with a length of five inches that's what i'll be using five inches is the length So I have 7.5 inches. I'll take this round and the length is 5 inches. So I need two of these because I'm going to turn it as well using the same fabric to create the front design.
Yeah. Wow. So I need two of this. I need two of this to line it. All right. So I guess that's all for now. We'll complete the rest of our tutorial in the next video, which is how to sew. Thanks for watching Carrie's Tutorials. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button if this is your first time on this channel. And you can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram at o Africa TV. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Carrie's Creations. Till I see you next class. Stay cool. Oh.